The Noctua NF820PWM Chromas Black Swap is part of a category of fans that has been gone for a long time, a few years actually, when cases stopped being big and using fans that were larger than 140mm. However, with some new cases, it seems that the 200mm fans are making a comeback, and today we have the top of the line model offered by Noctua. The Noxua NF820PWM Chromas Black Swap, for all intents and purposes, can and should be the best 200mm fan available right now. Not because it's a Noxua product, but because it uses the well-known Noxua SSO2 bearing system, which is regarded as one of the best around. Also, because not only is this one quiet, but it will last a long time without creating any issues in your system. And with a fan this big, a bearing system is all that matters for long time usage and performance. As the name suggests, the NFA20PWM Chromas Black Swap is part of the newer Chromas Black Swap series. This product line not only has the all black design, but it comes with several sets of rubber pads that have different colors. These accessories are going to come at a cost though. The NFA20PWM Chromas Black Swap is priced at 37 US dollars, which is no less than 7 US dollars more than the regular NFA20PWM fan. However, this is the usual price difference when we talk about Noctua and their Chromas Black line products. The NF820PWM Chromas Black Swap is delivered in a large box, and I mean large, for a fan packaging. Inside you don't really get that much in terms of accessories. You get an already installed cable extension and 6 different sets of rubber pads for the corners of the fan frame. Why 6? Because each has a different color, white, black, blue, green, red and yellow. Now you might notice why these fans are called the Chromas Black Swap and not just the Chromas Black. The biggest issue of fans that are this big will come down to the bearing and the weight of the impellers. A 200mm fan has big and heavy impellers, which for a bearing means one thing, more work at a higher pace for longer. In addition, more weight means that it's easier for the entire rotor and hub assembly to start to wobble and eventually malfunction. Therefore, 200mm fans in general are more expensive, as they require more materials to be built and specialized bearing systems to work with these different elements. Another issue with not just this fan but with all 200mm fans is the form factor. As of today, not a single case follows a standard for 200mm fan mounting points. Sure, most fans will fit, but some won't, and that just adds more issues to an already complicated product. Alright, so what's the point of this fan in the end? It's simple, this fan and many others, but let's focus on this one for now, will spin slower and deliver a better performance overall. That's the whole deal with larger fans. However, just because this fan is not the popular kid in school, that doesn't mean that it has no features in terms of quality and technology. Apart from the SSO2 bearing system, the NF820PWM Chromas Black Swap features inner surface microstructure, and they are these small dings found on the inner side of the fan frame. The purpose of these things, in simple terms, is to reduce the noise generated by the tip of the impellers and to improve the airflow and static pressure of the fan by reducing the flow separation. Other features of this fan include the well-known flow acceleration channels that are placed in sets of three on each blade and their purpose is to speed up the airflow within the fan frame and increase the efficiency of the fan while maintaining or lowering the overall noise. The cable used on this fan is very short. This is done because oftentimes a large fan does not require a long cable as the fan hub might be installed close by. However, by default this short cable has a long extension already installed with it. Before we head into the testing of the fan, you will get to hear a noise sample of the fan spinning from its lowest speed or a dead stop to its highest speed, which in the case on this model is 800 rpm. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for comparison, it does not take into consideration additional noise sources such as the bearing, vibrations of the impeller, turbulences and so on.
With a maximum speed of 800 RPM, the Noctua NF820 PWM Chromas Black Swap reached a maximum noise output of 27 dB with the measuring device placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the system and the fan. This places the fan on the first position in the chart, as it was expected given its low speed and large dimensions. Now testing such a large fan is um difficult to say the least, as it will not fit in many cases, mine included. So I will have to skip this one and just base my opinion on the noise testing instead. Why would I do that? It's simple, I could just as easily measure the airflow of each fan and call it a day, saying that the highest airflow is the best. However, given that we are talking about a 200mm fan, it cannot be compared with anything other than another 200mm fan, or perhaps a 180mm fan, but that is stretching it already. Two 140mm fans will be louder than a single 200mm fan, yet the performance might be close if not the same. And again, you will need a case that can accommodate one of these fans. Two would be the better solution, but good luck with a case that can accept such a setup. The Noctua NF820 PWM Chromas Black Swap is the latest variant of the 200mm fan offered by Noctua, a fan that might look out of place, but this might in fact be the next big, no pun intended, thing, as cases are getting big again and some models are coming out with 200mm fans pre-installed. The NF820 PWM Chromas Black Swap has one big advantage over the regular NF820 PWM. It looks great, and it will match any case and system you can find or build. The performance will differ based on a lot of factors, hence why testing such a fan and measuring the temperature of the various components of the system is not only hard but pretty much pointless. Some cases have glass panels in the front of the fans restricting the airflow, others have some metallic mesh in the front allowing for a good intake, some cases have other obstructions inside them, some do not, and the list goes on. And for a fan of this size, unless we are talking about a bad model, the performance will be good, as there is a lot of surface area on a 200mm fan. The advantage of the NFA20 PWM Chromas Black Swap is the engineering behind it and the low noise output. When we talk about the engineering, I mean the bearing and the materials used in the construction of the blades and rotor assembly. You see, a weak bearing system will create issues like unwanted noises, blades wobbling inside the frame and much more. On the other hand, a cheaply made fan will have blades that are so fragile that they will snap and break off the rotor, causing a mess inside your case. This is why the NFA20 PWM Chromas Black Swap is worth it, albeit the increased price tag for all the black variant is something to consider if looks are not that important to you. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Substabastar pages of this channel.